Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to show you this wig and this is Marina by Dimples and this is 100% human Remy hair. I have never had human hair wig so this is very new to me uh, I have three of them in three different colors just to show you this has been sent to me by simplywigs.co.uk and um, I won't be able to play too much with them because I need to send them back but I just wanted to show you if you ever ever considered human hair wig obviously nothing is going to look more natural than human hair wig it is now don't get scared by the you know shape of it it is it is um it has like a general general shape like a you know haircut this one is very long layers let me see if i can stand up a bit so you can see so as you can see it is layered haircut shorter at the front going longer to the back now because this is not a synth synthetic wig you can't just put a style and hope for it to stay it just behaves like your own hair so you buy the basic you know um, haircut that you like but you need to customize it really so you need to have it cut to your own you know liking you might want it a bit short you might want bangs um, you want you might want more layers you just customize it as you can see it is quite flat because it was in a box squashed in a box and because it is not a synthetic wig which has uh, you know it's already styled and that style is meant to stay whatever you do with it um, this one will be a bit flat when you take it out but because it is a human hair wig you can style it you can do exactly the same things to it as you do to your own hair uh, obviously you need to take care because this hair is still not growing out of your scalp therefore it doesn't get the nourishment from your scalp um, it is advised to use a special shampoo and obviously don't be too harsh with the heat on it so this one it is dimples from the bronze collection and this is marina in color 12 16 r6 which is almond roast rooted and i have two more here i have one in vanilla caramel rooted and i have a dark one uh, so you can see what I look like with dark hair or if you are interested now obviously human hair wigs are much more expensive than synthetic wigs but they also look more natural and they will last you longer and I suppose you need to be serious about your wigs or you know you might be someone that needs to wear wigs on daily basis then I suppose it's very important for you for the wig to be as comfortable as possible and as natural looking as possible let me show you the cap because the cap is exquisite it is obviously 100% hand tied um, you know I'm sure you can buy much cheaper um human hair wigs but it all comes down to the cap if the cap is not done properly this hair will just shed so you really need to look for a quality cap i think this wig retails for wait for it 785 pounds it is a lot of money uh, but if you think you could buy a synthetic wig for 300 pounds but that wig if you wear it daily will only last you three months i suppose so you would have to buy four of those and that works out much more than just one of those which definitely will last you whole year uh, if not longer if you look after it the hair is lovely silky and soft it's not you know some um cheaper human hair can be very coarse and and not very you know nice to touch even so let me show you the cap so obviously it's 100% um, hand tight and um, the 
monofilament top is silk so this is made out of silk this gives you the natural appearance of your scalp and it also look at the um, lace front can you see how you scalloped and that makes it look even more natural it also has this silicone strip at the front and on the ear tabs and I suppose because I presume more women that don't have any hair would go for that sort of wig and the silicone strip just makes your wig to stay on there I mean even on my I've got hair but because that silicone strip is sitting here it is quite secure um, and it obviously has the velcro straps as well um, so you can adjust it if it's if it is too big so let me compare these colors as you can see I would say this one is a bit it's obviously overall look is darker and maybe it looks a bit more ashy because I think the base is like an ashy dark blonde and it has some golden blonde and some light golden blonde through it so I thought this one was a bit lighter it would look better on me although it is not very ashy I think with human wigs it is very difficult to get ashy color but I suppose because it is human hair if you wanted to add any low lights I mean I wouldn't put bleach in it because bleach ruins your hair you know um, but you could put maybe some low lights in it yourself you know I've done that with my real hair human hair extensions I've put some colors in it so you you could do a lot with it you could really make this wig your own hair so this one is the let me just show you this one is the 1022R2 Vanilla Caramel Rooted. So that, that is this colour. Now, when they come to you, they come in that crisscross pattern here. I don't want to touch it because I obviously want to send this one back. Um, I can play with this one a bit, but... Um, yeah i just show you i will put this one on and show you the other color and then i have quite dark chocolate one as well okay so this is what it's gonna look like when it comes to you it's not very flattering but like i said you just get so you're choosing i suppose the shape of it the haircut the rest you can style yourself you can have it cut so can you see it comes most of it comes Part it like this with that crisscross and then you can just do your own own stuff it feels beautiful it's a it feels like a nice healthy thick hair look at this lace front it's just gorgeous so this one is definitely darker and far too flat for me but I'm um, you know um, the lady the model on a picture looks absolutely fabulous in this wig it's it's all straightened and she has it parted in the middle so it is definitely definitely gorgeous wig and just you know you can do so so much stuff with it you can curl it you can straighten it I feel like this is so unflattering on me but never mind like I said you can customize it so that was the um the vanilla caramel rooted so let me put the dark one on and you always been saying that i should go back to my dark hair you will see that that wouldn't be good okay so this one is called chocolate pudding So I think I look like Morticia um, in this color but it is because that color does not suit me um, but it is a beautiful rich chocolate color it has some some lighter um, well like a dark caramel um, low lights highlights running through it but 
I just wanted to show you so you can see what it looks like in this color beautiful color if if that's the color that suits you the lace front again it looks like the hair is growing out of your scalp just beautiful the hair moves just like your natural hair it's gorgeous so if i had to choose a color i probably choose the first one that i was wearing which is the almond rose treated um it has like strawberry blondes in it but it also has can you see this really really light gold one so I, I quite like this color this wig i think's got small fringe as well yeah you can see let me just pick it out yeah it has like shorter shorter hair here so if you wanted to um cut more of that fringe you could i would obviously style this wig give myself a bit of height here it is very very comfortable obviously with this sort of cap now i probably wouldn't buy myself um expensive wig like that but that's just because i wear wigs for fun um for fun and when I'm lazy when I don't want to do my own hair then I just can put wig on um, I also like to change up my look and look different every day so I wear wigs as, as a fashion accessory and for fun but you know for women that need to wear, wear wigs because they've lost their hair for whatever reason I think um, the quality and the type of wig is much more serious um, serious than for me so I think if you have to wear a wig every day and you want it to look really natural then I suppose the human human hair wigs are the way to go um, yes they are expensive obviously they are human hair and the cap the craftsmanship that goes into it i can only imagine how much more difficult it is to even if you compare synthetic wig that's got 100 percent hand tied cap it must be totally different trying to tie synthetic hair to a cap than than actual real hair so i can only imagine how much work it goes to it so i suppose you mustn't really think of human hair wig as pre-styled as you know like you get with synthetic wigs they are pre-cut so they have um some sort of basic haircut because i'm sure you can get shorter ones and maybe just one length ones so it's just up to you to choose that and then obviously you have to uh, customize it if you like it as it is you keep it as it is but you know i would definitely not touch it yourself i would take it to a hairdresser who could uh, trim it for you the way you like it and then you can style it you know you could put in hot rollers you could curl it you could straighten it um yes i quite i quite like this haircut actually all these different long long layers i probably would have cut it a bit shorter um but I can imagine this wig looking beautiful with like um, beachy waves. Okay, my lovelies. So I will leave you the link. This this wig is from, like I said, uh, simplywigs.co.uk. I am sure they ship internationally as well. And also remember, you can always email them, ask any questions. Honestly, the wig websites um, are very, very good. The people that work there, generally care um you know about giving women with hair loss confidence and they know a lot about their stuff so i obviously don't know everything don't know that much i'm very new to wigs um never ever tried um human hair wig i have had obviously human hair extensions and you know i knew how much i could do with them i i 
first of all I've given my hair extension low lights um, I've curled them I've straightened them so there is a lot of possibilities but obviously you still have to care for it as you, you know like you would care for your own hair it just feels weird because it's just like real hair and nice nice thick hair I mean it's not too much hair the density is just right it actually like gets a bit thinner towards the end so it's not like just this you know big puff but obviously it's not a thin hair not like my own hair I am not sure if these wigs are made made in UK actually because I always see this um, English flag on them so I think they might be actually UK company it comes in a box like this it says dimples Remy collection and this is the bronze collection and the name of this one is Marina okay my lovelies uh, thank you so much for watching and I see you at my next week review bye